fix very soon. Knuckle cracking, I have to admit I do it. To some, it's an ear piercing sound up there with fingernails on a chalkboard. But what exactly is that sound? And it's a good question that Matt is hopefully going to give us an answer to. Yeah, Christina, that's right. The viewer who wrote to me says that when her son does it, it almost sounds like he's breaking his bones. And she wants to know what is that sound and is it doing any damage? It's Friday, so I went in search of the answer to your good question. Here at Redmond's Barbershop in downtown Salt Lake City, the stylists have to keep a tight grip and a steady hand. And owner Redmond Mahe says that sometimes it helps to give his knuckles a good crack. It feels like it release pain and at the end of the day, it feels like that's what helps it out. Well, those are good ones. It's been a while. But what exactly is it that makes that distinctive sound that almost sounds like bones good. snapping. Good question. It's a good question. It's one that a lot of people have. I took it to Dr. Sidney Bauckham, a hand surgeon at Tosh, the orthopedic specialty hospital in Murray. He says that the school of thought about the noise actually changed just this year, thanks to a study out of the University of Alberta. Using an MRI machine, doctors cracked and watched and determined it all has to do with a very thin layer of joint fluid between our bones. When they are pulled apart, that last little bit of force creates a, a gas bubble in the joint and that's, that seems to be the sound that uh, is formed. So not a tendon snapping, as many thought was the likely cause for decades, and also not necessarily a problem. Is it bad for you? You know, every grandma will say yes, but uh, the truth is they've actually done studies on this too and it doesn't seem to be correlated with any sort of long-term risk for arthritis or, or, or joint wear. So, And you may have also noticed that after you crack, it takes a while before you can crack again. That refractory period exists because when you pop the bubbles, you let the air out of your joint and it takes time for that air to come back in and allow you to crack again. Thanks for the good question. If you have one, you hit me up on KTV.com or just next Friday. So you admit, do you do it too, right? I, I can't not do it. It hurts. I've, and, and actually, the Dr. Um, Sydney, uh, I forget his last, uh, the, the doctor of the story, <laughs> Sid, Sid uh, was telling me that that actually, you know, it relieves pressure. So some people it will does. do it to relieve pressure and you kind of you kind of need to do it. Yes, you kind of Some do. do. He actually couldn't do it himself. He's like, yeah. I'm a hand surgeon. I can't crack my knuckles. I've never been able to. I know people can crack their toes. Can you do that? I can do my neck. Oh, right. do that. We'll, we'll, we'll compare notes on <laughs> the knuckle cracking later. Thanks.